All right, Neo. Look at me. You ready to go get looking pretty? Let's go. Come on. Let's go to the groomer. We'll see you later, Blake. Bye-bye. We're going to look all pretty when we get back. Let me unlock the door. Back up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right up in here. And there you go. Good boy. <laughs> it is Saturday morning. It is dollar day. But I'm uh, 45 minutes getting started because I had to drop off Neo at the groomers. And I wasn't supposed to stop anyway because I had such a bad week last week. Just couldn't help myself. Got to see what I can find. Excuse me. Thank you. Sorry about that. All right. As long as nobody picked them up, there were a few things over here. Looks like somebody's already beat me to them. Oh, no. There's a Blu-ray player for a dollar. DVD Blu-ray. And nope. Nope. Oh, this is good. This is a neat document scanner. Literally brand name neat. I'm not calling it neat. $15. I need to look it up and make sure it's still worth it. ND 1000. 25, 50, 35, 29. Oh, it's not what it used to be. So 15, I'm gonna leave it behind. That one not work? No, Okay, because I'm interested in them too. But if it don't work, you're right. Not even for a dollar, it ain't worth it. Did you, did you test this one by chance already? Because I saw it on the shelf. Okay, I'll test it later. I don't want to get in your way. You finish, yeah. Thank you. Well, here's a DVD player for a dollar. Might be worth testing. All right, Drew Strickland. This guy has got a beard that'll give you a run for your money. Look at that. Yours is longer, but his is thicker. That's what she said. Let me grab a DVD real quick. All right, got me some Hoka Bondies here. Bondi 7s, really nice colorway. And they're in pretty good condition too. Looks like they might have stepped on something, but we can remove that. Looked them up, they're going for about $68 plus shipping. That's the exact comp of the shoe right there. Here's the thing. They want $30 here in the store. I'm actually, I'm gonna leave them. I don't wanna spend 30 up front. Ooh, and I'm picking them up and they've got holes in the back. Look at that. Now, this may be a bad thing. I'll let you decide, but you could, they're Bondi 7, so they're last year's model. You could technically turn these into Hoka and uh, get some sort of credit on their website because it's, it's falling apart. That's not normal wear and tear right there. That's not considered normal wear and tear. Ooh, $30 into a, a trial to see if Hoka warranty would replace them. I'm not gonna do it. Would you do it? So one thing I do not like about my local Google is I've actually personally witnessed them going through things like the high dot. They price all these coats at like $8.99 to $12.99, sometimes $15.99. And I've seen them come through and pull the blue tag, or let's just say the color of the week that would be a dollar. I've seen them pull it, and then I've seen the exact same item put back on the shelf the next week. So ultimately, they're not letting that stuff go for a dollar. They're pulling it so it won't go for a dollar. They want it to run for another four weeks at the original price they priced it at. I don't think that's cool. I don't think that's cool at all. All right. Insignia under the counter DVD player. $20. I don't think this is worth it, but I'm going to look it up anyway. And maybe I'll prove myself wrong. Ooh, no matches found. And five listed. Ooh, 148. 150. Holy crap, I could be completely off, but nobody's buying it. 150, but none sold. I'm going to let it stay because I can't find a sold one at all. I just see listed and then likes similar products. They're only selling around 50 bucks. That is not worth it. Price at 20 bucks right up front. So I'm leaving it behind. Walking out empty handed. 
there was just nothing I couldn't live without. Two DVD players. One actually had a busted corner. I didn't notice it until last minute. And uh, I just, whatever. I'm not selling the small ones. I've got three of them from, that I bought for a dollar, all listed, but none of them are actually selling. Um, well, none of them have remotes either, and I think that has something to do with it. My uh, strategy of $1 a day giving me $10 to $15. The only things that are selling are the Blu-ray players. And one of those was a 3D Blu-ray. However, like I said, it looked like it had been dropped. It had a busted plastic on the side. So, All right, this Goodwill usually has a good number of printers on dollar day. If I'm not too late, that is. All right, here we go. Here's two printers right here in the back. They got a cord. Glass isn't broken. It's blue. All right, a dollar. So, gonna look up these models. 25 bucks plus shipping, 35 bucks plus shipping. Okay, not so bad. 50, 53, 39, that's not the same number. 20, 48, free, 30. Okay, for a dollar, I'm gonna take the blue one home that has cell comps, but leave the white one that has no cell comps. Oh, I'm a sucker for new waves. And this one's got an extension ring. We want $25. Model number is 20602, so we'll look it up. Okay, parting it out, 30, 35, 30, 22. There's a whole one for 85, amber with the extension ring, so. I'll do it. 25 into 75 plus shipping. I'm talking myself into this because I'm only spending a dollar on that printer. So 25 on this, dollar on that. It's 25, 26 bucks for two items. That's why I'm talking myself into it. Here's a blue printer. $12.99 as is. So another printer for a dollar. And this other printer for a dollar. So there's two more printers. That's three, one, two, three printers and a new wave for $28. $28, so let's say $20, $20, $20, it's 60, that's 75, so we're over $100. There's a Jurassic Park toy over here. It looks like a Jurassic Park toy. $7.99, gotta look it up because Jurassic Park toys are good. Let's use Google Lens. Jurassic Park, Ocean Protect. Ooh, regular 65 bucks. 18, 20, 22, 22, 24. Wow, not even close to what I thought it was gonna be. Cause it's so iffy about if it's broken or not. I'm definitely leaving it. I thought that would have been really good, but I was wrong. Another Sony under the counter DVD of oh, 50 bucks. I'll leave it. Glad Goldstone water filters. The line to check out is a million miles long, both in front and behind me. But while I'm standing here, I had some really good offers on Mercari from this one buyer on a VCR. And I think the other thing was a DVD VCR combo unit. So they were really good offers. So I went ahead and accepted those. And then I got a good offer on eBay for a pair of Merrill shoes. In order to see what I actually accepted for those items, you're gonna have to watch my wet sold video that comes out on Sundays. Okay, standing in line, I saw this shirt. It's a Disney shirt, but my wife loves this movie. It's Moana. And she's always, when we go to the beach at Daytona, she always is singing this song as she looks out into the horizon. So I got this for her. It actually says the words of the song, See the line where the sky meets the sea it calls me? So I think she's gonna absolutely adore this shirt. I think she's gonna love it. I hope she does at least. All right, there's my bounty. I gotta get it all in the truck now. Three printers, new wave oven, and the shirt. And I spent, I think like 20, 20, 34, 34, 34. Even though I parked way out here, I'm still gonna do everybody a favor. And I'm going to return this car. Other people just left the cart out here. Look at that. Look at that. No. I'm going to walk mine inside. Look at that. I'm going to walk it inside. There we go. All the way in. 
Boom, boom. There we go. I did my good deed for the day. All right, buddy boy, come here. Come here. <laughs> He's so excited to go inside. How clean are you? Look at you. You smell so good, too. Look at you. All right, let's go inside. See mama. <laughs>